smaller? Yes, Kensington. Does God the Father have a body? Wait, what? Are you serious? Yes, I'm very serious. Is God made out of water? Wait, dude. Bro, where are you getting all this, anyway? Clearly tells us the essence of the Father. He's made of spirit and water, spirit and water. He has a real body. Oh, come on, man. Well, you know what this means. Time to go to the script. Yeah. Oh. Welcome to the Truth Card Hell. Yo, yo, bro, don't do that, bro. Don't take my line like that, bro. I asked what time it is, but not for you to say my line. Come on, bro. My bad. Where do you want to start? All right, go way back. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Come on, bro. Before the beginning. Wait. Before the beginning? Yes. Yes. Outside of space and time. Okay. Here we are. No, it's not here we are or when we are. It's just we are. We're outside of space and time. And this is how God tells us he's always existed. The I am. And get ready to pull up some verses. Exodus chapter 3 verse 14 says this. God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, say this to the sons of Israel. I am has sent me to you. Now I am is pronounced Yahweh in the Hebrew. And it's commonly been interpreted as a statement of God's self-existence. Widespread understanding of this name is God is independent, all-sufficient in himself, and the only source of all existence and life. Yahweh is the name that describes this essence or nature. His name is being. So he's always existed, eternally before all creation, because he created all things. Now let's go to the beginning of creation. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 and 2 reads this. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and the darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was moving over the face of the waters. So he's always existed and created everything. Romans chapter 4 Verse 17 says this, As it is written, I have made you the father of many nations in the presence of God in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist. So nothing was made that was made without Yahweh, including water. Okay, so Kensington. I'm all ears. Let me give you the equation that breaks down why God can't have a body made of spirit and water. It goes like this. If God equals spirit and water, well, God created water. So God existed before his body. Therefore, God doesn't have a body. Right, let me repeat if God equals spirit and water but God created water so God existed before his body therefore God doesn't have a body so there you have it pretty simple so the next time you hear some foolishness being proclaimed about God or his nature just open the Bible and read God isn't made of water. He doesn't have a body where he's confined to space and time. He's a creator of all things. So give him his glory in his rightful place as the God of the created universe. And that includes creating water. Truth Cartel. 
trafficking truth to the world. 